the antique shop. Which is there. So we're going to what's been referred to as the other church. But that it's the antique shop is kind of weird. I wonder what it means. There was a health drink there. Oh, mm. we have the uh, new enemy of the monkey creature. <laughs> we do, which I think they're, sort of the idea is, is that they're bigger and dangerous. And the outside is getting more dangerous as we uncover more and more, I suppose. Those good old flying monsters. I haven't seen one in such a long time. They always kick your head. They do. Changing music and theme now as we actually get there. Yeah, so we've gotten to the antique shop. So we have a save station, lots of clutter, and a suspicious camera angle to draw our attention to this another, old cupboard at the back there. Yeah, another cabinet with the weird sort of marks on the floor. What's this? Harry! Sybil? Ah, oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I quite like this weird stuff as a foot music. All the roads out of town are this section of the game is very cutscene heavy. Cars have it is, yes. Running. So we're seeing Sybil again, though, still which you kind of forget in a lot of ways up to this what point. about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. Quite like this bit, actually. It's just sort of that all of this is rubbish. The Force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. 
I'd better check it out first. Because I'm the policeman here. <laughs> I should go. No, I'm going. Although really, I suspect she'd go. No, you're not. Exactly. I'm going. I'll cover you from here. I think it's a bit weird he doesn't mention um, Kaufman or Lisa. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world... I like this as well. He takes like the some direct approach and just out and out asks her. Yeah. What are you but talking in a, about? In a sort of a roundabout way. I'm not quite not sure. In a, I have been having I these visions. I make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. He's trying to make sure he's not crazy. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. Oh, he does mention yeah. Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. I think we're supposed to assume Sybil isn't really Harry. seeing things that Harry sees. You're tired. Well, certainly not the other world. Yeah, maybe. Oh, and again, like with the, the hidden room in the storage area, I like the idea of the, another hidden room. What's this? Some kind of altar? Never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. Mm hmm. quite like the way the music continues from the other room, the kind of something strange is going yes, on. Yes, it's sort of otherworldliness. So we found this weird altar with some weird powder and a chalice. I mean, the music changes now, but up until this point it was the something strange is happening music. And we found another melee weapon. A small hand axe. What the? Harry? Are you okay? Harry? this too so it makes it a bit more clearer that you do go somewhere else when you change yes rather than trading on the the same Where am I? sense of mystery you get from not knowing what's going on it just out and out goes this is how it works Lisa? you bodily are removed hospital. from where you were when you have one of your you your seizures was I or at least that's the implication. Yeah. You don't look too good. Are you okay? So we're talking to Lisa again, but it's very dreamy. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh, yeah. I quite like the way he asks very direct questions as well. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, 
the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff, black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Was that another dream? Did I pass out again? We're getting somewhere totally different. Because in, in addition to lots and lots of cutscenes and lots of things going on like that, we also have lots of transitions, lots of sudden scene changes. And all to, of course, enforce the sense that we don't know what's real anymore. And there's your hint what to do next. Yeah. I think we're just admiring the room there, here. Yeah. So we've got a little bit more information as well about sort of the town. <laughs> and we'll find out what happens next time. Goodbye.